Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life. Whom should I dread? When evildoers came upon me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and my enemies, they stumbled and fell. If an army encamps against me, my heart will not fear. If war arises against me, in spite of this, I am confident. I've walked with the Lord for more than seven decades now, says Dr. Stanley. I've read the Bible from cover to cover, preached thousands of sermons, and written pages and pages of study material. Despite all of that, sometimes circumstances that arise can still shake me to the core. When fear begins to sink in, I pray harder, study longer, and read my Bible more closely. I decided long ago that I would not let apprehension stop me from doing what God calls me to do. However, before I can take a stand against fear, I have to admit it's there. That's the key to conquering feelings of anxiety. I imagine you on occasion may feel frightened too, whether of failure, ridicule, loneliness, or something else entirely. There's no shame in admitting you're afraid. In the Psalms, in fact, King David makes this confession several times. His confessions are often wrapped in prayer, acknowledging the Lord's power over his fears and his enemies. And these are examples we can follow. That same power is available to those of us who are believers today. God wants to cast out the fear and doubt in your life. Are you willing to go before him today and say, Lord, here's what I'm afraid of?